Today, I want to tell you the story of a really bizarre scam I stumbled upon completely by accident. It all goes back to the summer of 2019. At the time, there was a really strange phenomenon all over YouTube. These fake bootleg Nintendo game adverts for games like Mario Maker 2, for instance. Now, these ads were obviously not real. Nintendo don't do mobile ports of their games, after all. But nevertheless, you couldn't go a couple of hours on YouTube without seeing these godforsaken ads. I'd always sort of assumed that they were trying to get me to download some kind of virus, or like, enter my bank details and then steal my money or something. So I just ignored them for the most part. But then, one morning in October, curiosity got the better of me. I was on my phone when this ad popped up. So, obviously, this was a fake ad. Mario and Luigi were acting weird. They were talking and animating in a way that the characters just don't normally. I almost clicked the skip ad button like usual. But for some reason, I changed my mind. I decided to click the link at the end of the ad, just to see where it took me. Would my data get stolen? Would I be downloading some kind of virus onto my phone? Well, I was about to find out. A moment later, I was taken to a download page on the Google Play Store for a game called Bob's World. Already, this wasn't what I had expected. Like I said, I figured my identity was going to get stolen or something, but instead I was just being asked to download some weird mobile game. Nevertheless, I decided to just go with it, to see what would happen. And so I pressed the install button. Little did I know that this was to be the beginning of a four month long journey. So while the game began to download, I had a quick read through the first three or four reviews on the game's page. And they weren't great. One person described the game as a not very impressive Mario ripoff. The other two people were just annoyed by the weird fake ads they'd seen on YouTube, and so, like me, they'd clicked the link to find out where it went. Clearly, they hadn't been especially impressed by what they'd seen. Still, after another minute or so, Bob's World was ready to play. At this point, I really wasn't sure what to expect. The reviews I'd read had only served to further pique my interest. And so, without any further ado, I pressed the open button. It was time to figure out just what on earth Bob's world was. So here it was, Bob's world. Thankfully, it didn't seem like a virus or anything, just a fairly generic looking mobile game. First of all, I had a quick prod around the title screen and the settings, but nothing there really grabbed my attention. The music, on the other hand, certainly did grab my attention, but not exactly for the right reasons. Oh well, I had stalled for long enough. It was time to actually give this game a try. I began with level one, and immediately I was fairly surprised by what I saw. Now, don't get me wrong, the game wasn't good. The physics felt only okay to jump around in, the art and level design were as generic as you could possibly imagine but I had expected this to be much more of a blatant ripoff of Super Mario Bros. I'd expected stolen art and music. I figured the game would probably copy its levels block for block from Mario. But instead, this game seemed, for the most part, to be doing its own thing. After a couple more minutes of stunningly mediocre gameplay, I finished the first level. And there it was, Bob's World. So at this point, I was mostly just confused. The more of Bob's World I had played, the more I began to wonder whether labelling this game as a rip-off, a simple Mario clone, was a bit too harsh. While the similarities to Mario were undeniable, the art, the characters and the music were all completely original. But that raised the question of the ad I saw earlier that morning. Comparing the two side by side, there's almost nothing in common between the ad and the game. 
Which got me thinking, if this wasn't footage of Bob's world, then what was it? I mean, it's certainly not regular old Mario. The way the characters are moving around seems completely unnatural. So I took a closer look at the ad, and that's when I noticed. In the corner of the screen, there was a logo that I didn't recognize. The word level, and then an up arrow. Level up. Quickly, I found a YouTube channel with the exact same name and logo. These videos are all comedic skits featuring video game characters. The channel has 2 million subscribers, so you may well have come across it before. And back in 2018, they released a video called Mario and Luigi's Maze Mayhem. Two and a half minutes in, you'll find the exact same scene featured in the Bob's World YouTube ad. In other words, whoever made that ad stole this video and used it to trick people into downloading Bob's World. So the first thing I wanted to know was who made the ad? The first and most obvious clue appeared when the game was first opened. The logo of Bob's World's developer, Falcon Game Studio. I did a quick Google search and found the company's website. And sure enough, Bob's World was listed alongside all the other games they'd created. But weirdly enough, nothing about this seemed very scammy. Falcon Game Studio looked like a legitimate, completely above board game developer. So again, what was up with the ad? I needed to dig deeper. I needed more clues. And for that, I would need to enter a wretched hive of scum and villainy. Facebook. So to rewind for a second, when I first opened Bob's World, I took a quick poke around the settings, right? And that's when I noticed something, a tiny little button with the Facebook logo on it. Now it was time to try giving it a press. After waiting for the page to load for a minute, I ended up here on the Bob's World Facebook community. Here were literally thousands of people posting about the game, talking about levels they were stuck on, or discussing the game's new fancy Halloween theme. This was a fairly sizable community, and while most of these people had likely downloaded the game because of a scammy advert with stolen footage of a different video game, they also didn't seem like victims of a scam. Instead, they just seemed like people who liked a game. Uh, but what about clues? Well, I soon found something that caught my eye. The community moderator list. There were only two mods for the Bob's World Facebook community. One of them was just the official Bob's World account, not a huge surprise. But the other one piqued my interest. It was a guy from Vietnam, just a regular looking guy. Now, I don't know if he was one of the game's developers or a fan of Bob's World that had been offered the role of community moderator. But either way, he was connected to this game in a major way. If anyone knew the truth behind Bob's world, it would be him. And so, I sent two messages on Facebook. One of them was to the official Bob's world account, and the other was to this man from Vietnam. I didn't mention the fact I thought their game might be a scam in either message, I just politely asked for more information about Bob's world. Now I just had to wait. It turned out I would be waiting for quite a while. For the rest of the day, I eagerly checked my phone for replies. And a couple of hours later, the Bob's World account actually read the message I sent them. Could a reply be coming soon? Uh, no. I didn't get any messages from either account for the rest of the day. Or the next day, or the next week, or the next month. It was complete silence. Now, by January of 2020, I still hadn't heard anything. In fact, I had sort of given up on finding out the truth behind Bob's world. But then, one morning, Lady Luck smiled upon me. Bob's world made a hilariously disastrous mistake, and this one mistake gave the game away. Let me set the scene. 
by now, college had started up again, and so, at 6.30 in the morning, I had dragged myself out of bed to get onto a crowded bus for an hour. To pass the time, I was flicking through my home screen, back and forth and back and forth, when suddenly something caught my attention. An app that I had never seen before. The icon looked like the Unity logo, and the name was Super Mario Unity. Apparently, I had downloaded this app from the Google Play Store myself, but I had no memory of doing so. I did, however, have a growing suspicion in my mind. There was surely only one app on my phone that this could be. Only one. And so, I tapped the icon. Lo and behold, I was indeed greeted by Bob's World. However, there were four big differences I noticed pretty much straight away. First, the game was now running in portrait mode. Obviously, not intentionally. I mean, <laughs> look how squashed it all looks. Very strange. Uh, the second and third differences we've already covered. The icon is now, weirdly enough, just the Unity logo, and the name has changed from Bob's World to Super Mario Unity. Then, finally, the last, more subtle difference. Uh, when I opened the app months ago, the logo for Falcon Game Studio, the developer, had been displayed. But this time, that logo had been replaced with a splash screen reading, Made with Unity. So, all of these clues pointed in one direction. Unity, the software used to develop Bob's World. Clearly something weird had happened to do with the Unity software. But, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know loads about Unity. So, I reached out to someone who knows a lot more than I do. Andre, from the YouTube channel Mix and Jam. Now, I sent Andre a message on Twitter explaining this whole thing from start to finish. And together, we came up with a bit of a theory. Uh, he stressed, though, that this is very, very speculative, um, so take it with a lot of salt. Uh, yes. But here's what we think might have happened. Basically, it seems like Bob's World was updated in a bit of a hurry. And when the developers pushed this update to the App Store, they screwed up a bunch of the settings. Let me explain. In the Unity project settings, there's a couple of important tick boxes, like this one, which replaces the default Unity splash screen with your own custom one. And it seems like Falcon Game Studio just forgot to tick that box somehow. They also didn't tick the box which locks the game into landscape mode, by the way, which is why the game looks all messed up right now. That wasn't their only mistake, either. In their hurry, they also somehow forgot to rename the app and give it its proper icon. Which means that the name that showed up on my phone, Super Mario Unity, was actually the internal project name for Bob's World. So, what does all of this mean? Well, it actually answers once and for all the lingering question in my mind. Is Bob's World a scam, or is it something original? and this strange mistake, which I still don't even understand how they managed to do, by the way, finally gives us that answer. Because, years ago, when Falcon Game Studio booted up Unity, clicked the New Project button, and typed in the name of their game, they entered the words Super Mario Unity. It was a bootleg, a ripoff from day one. A fairly good one, all things considered, but a ripoff nonetheless. Then, when the game was done, they advertised it using stolen footage from a YouTube video from Level Up that we saw earlier. All to try and trick people into thinking it was an official Super Mario game. And it worked! When I visited the Bob's World Facebook community, I saw thousands of players all talking about Bob's World. Plus, the reviews were full of people who thought they were playing Mario, too. They fell for the scam. But there's actually a really amazing end to the story. Because while there's nothing I can do about Bob's World, no way to stop them spamming their stupid ads all over YouTube, it turns out that fate has already stepped in. Let me show you something. 
If you open the Google Play Store and type in the words Bob's World, you might be a little surprised. Alongside the game that I downloaded, there are hundreds of rip-offs, like New Adventure Bob's World, Bob's World Clock Widget, Bob's World Jungle Adventures, Bob's Adventure Super World, Super Bob's World Escape, Victo's World. You can hardly tell which one's even the original. And I find that incredible, that a game designed to lure people in by pretending to be something else has itself been flooded with cheap copies and crappy clones, to the point that you can barely tell which one came first. Hey, thanks for sticking with me until the end. I make videos like this one every few weeks, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And you can support the channel on Patreon to help make these videos possible. But whether or not you're able to do that, there's no pressure. I'll see you next time. Bye!